right now you can see all of the joints where the spider connects, so I want to soften that. So we're going to add an adjustment layer. So layer new, adjustment layer. I want you to go to effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur. Let's set that to about two. Should be enough. Actually, I'm going to set that to five. Then I want you to go to effect, noise and grain, median. And let's just move that and we can kind of eyeball it. So you can see it's starting to smudge all of these pieces together. I'm going to set that to 10. Might have to set a little bit higher, maybe 15. Now let's go in and adjust the levels a little bit here. So I'm going to my effects and presets palette. Just type in levels. Let's just double click on that. We'll stretch this out a little bit. Bring the levels in a little bit. So we're bringing in the white levels and we're bringing in the black levels. And you're going to have to eyeball this one a little bit and get it kind of where you want it to look. So that's totally smoothed out those hard edges that we had and this gives us a really nice organic feel to our spider. Now one of the reasons that I made the spider so large was so that we could get this smooth feeling around those hard edges. We can go now and actually reduce the size of this. So I'm going to go to Project and create a new composition. Composition, new composition. And this one will be NTSC DV 720 by 480. We will name this Spider Walking. Click OK. And we'll go and select Comp 1. Drag that in. We'll scale this down so it fits nicely in there. So about 30%. I'm going to hide the parents. I'm going to collapse the switches and modes. We will select the composition window, hit the tilde key, and do a RAM preview so we can see what our spider looks like. So now that we have our spider RAM previewing, I just want to give you guys a little insight into how long this animation actually took. So this was a pretty short lesson, but to actually figure out how the spider was walking took about three days. And the reason being was I had no frame of reference. So to try and make a spider walk without seeing a spider walk is almost near impossible. I actually lucked out that they had a special on one of the animal channels on spiders and got a chance to watch one. So I guess what I'm trying to say is the best thing to learn about animation or character animation is actually to study life, to study actual movement, and that will really help you in tackling character animation.